What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to land that nice effective right hand cross and I'm going to give you some drills that you can follow along so you can better improve that right handed cross and add some power to it. Let's go have a look. Sweat up everyone, PC Curl Rash here and today I'm going to show you how to throw a right handed cross. I'm also going to show you some of the common mistakes that I see students make and we'll go on the back and I'll demonstrate uh, how to effectively throw that cross and practice it and improve it. Okay, so let's get started. One of the first things that I want to tell you guys is that your stance is very important. So if you have any questions regarding your stance, I'm going to include a link into this video. You can go check it out. I've explained how to do a Muay Thai kickboxing stance in details. Okay, so I want you to check that out if you have any questions. So when it comes to your stance, again, legs shoulder width apart, hands are up, your lead hand is going to be at your eyebrow level. The rear hand, the one that you're going to actually deliver the cross, is going to be at your chin level like so. Your elbows are going to be tucked in. So is your chin going to be tucked in? Make sure you're not tucking out your chin or leaving it out there because you're going to get caught with it. That's one of the mistakes that I see students usually make, okay? So this is going to be mechanics. You're going to be throwing, throwing that arm straight three quarters of the weight. Pay attention to my elbow. It's going to be facing downwards and I'm going to turn it the last 25%. I'm going to deliver that right hand. Make sure the point of contact is the two big knuckles which runs along your radius, okay? These are your strong knuckles. That's what you want the point of contact to be. So I'm gonna do it several times. Boom, boom, boom. I'll do it fast at a different angle, okay? If you pay attention, I have to pivot on the ground and turn my hips to deliver that effective or that powerful strike because what? It carries my weight with it, okay? So pay attention to my leg and to my hips. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to deliver that shot, and straight I'm going to bring it back, which brings me to the second most common mistake that I see that a lot of times students, when they're delivering that cross, this hand actually comes down. It's not supposed to, okay? You're supposed to deliver it straight and bring it back, okay, with your elbows, going out three quarters of the weight, and now you're gonna be turning it. One of the reasons for that is telegraphing, right? So if you are not tucking in your elbows when you're delivering that cross, and sort of it's coming down, this is called chicken winging, and your opponent's gonna sort of see that, okay? They're gonna see that every time you're about to throw that cross, what the first thing that actually comes up is your elbow off your ribs. And if they notice that, they can get you with the kicks or with the counter punches, hooks to the body, okay? now. Another mistake that I usually see is that when students are throwing that cross, it just stays out there. They're not bringing it back quickly enough, okay? Which your opponent can use it as a method to counter strike you, okay? So it looks like this and then comes out, okay? So try to avoid that, okay? You're throwing that strike quick and you're bringing it back. So, like so, okay? Another common mistake that I see is that students tend to throw a short cross, okay? So maybe they're miscalculating the distance with the target or with the opponent or they're too tense up, okay? And the way to do that is just relax up, okay? That's the way you're gonna mitigate throwing a short uh, range strike. So sort of, it just looks like that. They're not utilizing their full reach, which not only doesn't allow you to deliver that effective strike by not carrying your entire weight, but also it's a mismanagement of the distance, okay? So you wanna learn that. Another thing that you can do to improve that is sort of measure it up. You can sort of measure the target with your, with your jab or with your lead hand, and when you're actually hitting it, make sure that you're utilizing the full reach, okay? That is your full reach. Another mistake that I see, and this is kind of an important one because it mitigates or reduces the chances of injury from happening is that hyperextending. So you don't wanna hyperextend Okay, you don't want to hyperextend the elbow, that's going to hurt in the long time. Joints are very sensitive and you want to really, really take care of that, okay, especially in the beginning, okay. So make sure that you are practicing your technique before you, you go in and you're doing some heavy, heavy punches, okay. So again, I'll demonstrate a couple of times from different angles for you guys, okay. Hands are up, I'm protected on both, both sides. On my left hand side, I got my left hand. On my right hand side, it's my chin. And as soon as it leaves out my shoulder, pay attention, it actually comes to cover my chin, and my chin is actually tucked down, okay? So it's gonna look like that, 
I'm connecting. As soon as I'm connecting, it's coming back. I'm not letting it stay out there, right? So boom, 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 boom. Also, when you strike it, make sure you're breathing, okay? So every time you're hitting, you have to exhale. Otherwise, you're gonna gas out, whether you're hitting the heavy bag or hitting the mitts or you're doing some sort of a sparring, okay? Make sure you are exhaling, 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 all right? Okay, guys, let's go in the bag and I'm gonna show you some drills that you can do to improve delivering the cross, okay? Let's go, guys, okay? So first and foremost, if you're new to striking, I want you to make sure that you are wrapping your hands and you're, you know how to properly do so. If you don't, I'm gonna include the link into this video. You can go ahead and check it out, how to properly wrap your hands. And also make sure that you are keeping your wrist straight, okay? And also, the point of contact on your two big knuckles is correct, okay? So first and foremost, come to your stance, okay? Measure your reach. If you have a problem with measuring your reach, you can just stick out your, your, your lead hand and sort of just feel it out where it is. And next, based on the mechanics that we went over from the beginning of the video, I want you to just practice that, delivering that cross back and forth as many as times that you can. So, okay, so for example, you can do it for about 30 seconds or to a minute, or for example, you can do 10, 20, or 30 and reset, okay? So I'm gonna do 10 cross for you guys to just to begin with, okay? So I'm gonna measure my reach, okay? I'm gonna one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The next thing that you can do to spice it up, okay, you can actually just measure out your uh, measure out your reach with your jab, and you can set it up so you can do a one-two. Okay, so it's gonna be okay. And make sure you have your guard up, you're protecting on both sides. Okay, so my hands are up, I'm connecting with my jab, and I take it back. And again, the concentration is on the cross. Okay, make sure you are pivoting. Make sure you are turning your hips, especially if you want to do a power jab. And make sure that you're not pushing the back, okay? It's a snappy contact, it comes back, so and it's back, okay? I'm not gonna punch it, leave it out there. I'm not gonna do that, I'll push it up. And I'm not just, just gonna touch it. I'm gonna go through with it and I'm gonna make sure I am carrying out my weight to deliver that hard cross, okay? Nice and easy, again, if you wanna sort of Measure it out, you can sort of measure it out, okay? Again, the elbow leaves three-quarter of the way, and the last 25%, you're gonna connect straight. My shoulder is tucked in, I'm turning it, my hips are turned, and I'm pivoting to carry that power. Another one you can do to sort of set up that cross is go for a body shot, okay? So for example, I can sort of go for the body shot and hit, okay? I can hit, okay? Hit, hit, okay, so hit the body, come back, boom, connect, straight, flush with that cross, okay, so, so we did just the cross, okay, we did the one, two, so the jab, cross, next you can sort of hit it up with that, with that body shot, cross, okay, the next one what you can do is actually go for a high, go for a high hook, Cross. So, for example, okay. Again, make sure your technique is good. Perhaps you want to record yourself, or you want to have your your coach, your crew, just tell you um, what mistakes you're making. Okay. And again, as I went over from the beginning of the video, I said some of the common mistakes is that students are not turning. The hips are not carrying the full width with them. Sometimes they're not utilizing the full extension of their arm. They're shorting, shorting, crossing it. Or if you're crossing and it just stays out there, or it just comes back down. Okay? So pay attention to that. The cross, it's a straight punch and comes straight back. And you protect it on both sides. All right, guys, that's about it today. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, include in the comments. Um, also, let me know what are some of the struggles that you guys have when you're delivering, uh, delivering the cross. What are some of the mistakes that you keep on making, okay? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, please go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, that's about it. Let's get out of here. See you next time.